The year was 2147, when humanity finally detected the first signs of intelligent life beyond Earth. For decades, scientists had scoured the cosmos for any indication that we were not alone, and finally the search bore fruit. Deep space probes, equipped with the latest in quantum communication technology, intercepted a series of transmissions emanating from a distant star system. These signals, though initially cryptic, exhibited patterns unmistakably artificial. After extensive analysis, the origin was pinpointed to the Nix system, located some 50 light years from Earth. The United Earth Federation, UEF, recognizing the significance of this discovery, swiftly organized an expedition. The starship UEF Pioneer, a marvel of human engineering, was chosen for the mission. Captained by the experienced and resolute Jonathan Hale, the Pioneer was equipped with advanced communication arrays, defensive systems, and a diverse crew of scientists, diplomats, and explorers. As the Pioneer journeyed through the vastness of space, excitement and anticipation gripped its crew. The prospect of making contact with an alien civilization was both thrilling and daunting. Captain Hale, a seasoned explorer, knew the importance of this mission. Humanity's future might well hinge on the outcome of this first contact. After months of travel, the Pioneer finally entered the Nix system. The crew's initial scans revealed a complex and bustling region of space, with numerous planets and moons, many of which were inhabited. The most prominent of these was Nix Prime, a lush, Earth-like planet teeming with life and advanced technology. As the Pioneer approached Nix Prime, they were greeted by a fleet of elegant, sleek spacecraft, piloted by the Haxorians, the dominant species of the system. The Haxorians were tall, slender beings with translucent skin that shimmered with iridescent hues. Their eyes, large and expressive, conveyed a sense of intelligence and curiosity. Despite their advanced technology, the Haxorians appeared peaceful and welcoming. Captain Hale and his crew were invited to land on Nix Prime and meet with the Haxorian leaders. As the pioneer descended through the atmosphere, the crew marveled at the intricate and breathtaking architecture of the Haxorian cities. Towering spires and floating platforms dotted the landscape, interconnected by shimmering energy bridges. It was a scene of both natural beauty and technological prowess. Upon landing, Captain Hale was greeted by Ambassador Zalath, a dignified and articulate Haxorian. With grace and poise, Zalath extended a hand in friendship, marking the beginning of diplomatic relations between humanity and the Haxorians. Over the following days, a series of meetings and cultural exchanges took place, with both sides eager to learn about each other's history, technology, and way of life. The diplomatic reception was a grand affair, held in a vast hall adorned with Haxorian art and symbols of their culture. Representatives from various Haxorian factions, along with the crew of the Pioneer, mingled and exchanged pleasantries. Captain Hale and his officers, dressed in their formal uniforms, moved through the crowd, making introductions and building connections. Among the attendees was Dralix, a renowned Haxorian scientist known for his eccentric behavior and groundbreaking research. Dralix was a figure of both respect and curiosity among his peers. As he approached the human delegation, his eyes fell upon Luna, Captain Hale's beloved pet dog, who had accompanied her master on this historic journey. Luna, a friendly and playful golden retriever, wagged her tail and looked up at Dralix with innocent curiosity. The reaction was immediate and dramatic. Dralix's eyes widened in shock, and he staggered backward, nearly losing his balance. His normally composed demeanor gave way to a mix of awe and terror. By the stars, what is that creature doing here? Dralix exclaimed, his voice trembling. Captain Hale, puzzled by the reaction, stepped forward. This is Luna, my dog. She's quite harmless, I assure you. Dralix shook his head, his gaze fixed on Luna. In our history, creatures resembling your dog were considered apex predators. They were feared and revered, and their extinction was a relief to our ancestors. To see one here, tame and docile, is beyond my comprehension. The room fell silent as the other Haxorians absorbed this revelation. Luna, oblivious to the commotion she had caused, simply sat down and panted happily. The incident sparked a wave of curiosity and fear among the Haxorians. 
Luna became an unintended ambassador of humanity, challenging long-held beliefs and opening the door to deeper understanding. Captain Hale realized the significance of this moment. It was not just a meeting of species, but a confrontation of histories and perceptions. As the reception continued, he knew that Luna's presence would be a focal point of their ongoing interaction with the Haxorians. The days following Luna's unexpected introduction were filled with a mixture of fascination and apprehension among the Haxorian populace. News of the human pet spread quickly through Nick's prime, and the image of the seemingly fearsome yet gentle creature became a topic of intense debate. Dralix, now obsessed with understanding Luna, invited Captain Hale and his crew to the Haxorian Science Institute. The Institute was an impressive structure, with walls made of a bioluminescent material that pulsated with a gentle glow, providing a serene atmosphere for intellectual pursuits. Here, scientists of all disciplines gathered to share knowledge and push the boundaries of their understanding. As Luna trotted alongside Captain Hale, Dralix led them through the Institute, explaining the Haxorians' historical fear of dog-like predators. Our ancestors faced extinction at the hands of beasts similar to your Luna, Dralix explained. They were apex predators, unrivaled in their ferocity. To see one so docile is disconcerting. Captain Hale nodded, understanding the gravity of the situation. Luna is a testament to humanity's ability to coexist with and tame such creatures, he said. Our bond with dogs spans thousands of years, built on mutual trust and companionship. Dralix studied Luna intently. Perhaps this bond is what makes humanity unique, he mused. Our fear may be misplaced, but it will take time to change centuries of ingrained belief. While the Haxorians were fascinated by Luna, the crew of the Pioneer took the opportunity to immerse themselves in Haxorian culture. They attended lectures, participated in art exhibitions, and explored the intricate and breathtaking architecture of Nick's Prime. The Haxorians' love for knowledge, art, and craftsmanship was evident in every aspect of their society. Lieutenant Maria Sanchez, the ship's cultural liaison, became particularly enamored with Haxorian art. She marveled at their intricate sculptures and holographic paintings, each piece telling a story of the Haxorians' rich history and deep philosophical musings. During one of her visits to an art gallery, she met Thalia, a Haxorian diplomat and art enthusiast. Thalia and Maria quickly bonded over their shared appreciation for art. Thalia explained the symbolism behind some of the most revered pieces, and in turn, Maria shared stories of human history and the role art played in it. Their exchanges became a bridge between the two cultures, fostering mutual respect and understanding. Meanwhile, Dralix's fascination with human culture deepened. He spent hours conversing with the Pioneer's crew, asking questions about Earth, human technology, and most importantly, the relationship between humans and their pets. His curiosity extended beyond Luna. He wanted to understand what made humans capable of forming such deep bonds with other species. As the days passed, the Haxorians' fear of Luna began to wane, replaced by a genuine curiosity about humanity's ability to tame and live harmoniously with such creatures. Luna, with her friendly demeanor, became a beloved figure, symbolizing the potential for harmony between different species. Unbeknownst to the humans, a faction within the Haxorian government, known as the Zaltor, viewed the arrival of humans as a threat. The Zaltor were a secretive and powerful group, believing that Haxorian dominance in the Nyx system was paramount. They saw the humans' presence as a challenge to their authority and way of life. The Zaltor leaders convened in a hidden chamber beneath the capital city. The room was dimly lit, with walls adorned with ancient Haxorian symbols of power and control. Valak, the head of the Zaltor, spoke with a voice that resonated with authority and menace. The humans must be dealt with, he declared. Their presence is a threat to our sovereignty. We must turn the Haxorian people against them. One of his lieutenants, a cunning strategist named Zorath, proposed a plan. We can use the human pet as a catalyst, he suggested. The fear of those creatures is still strong among our people. We can manipulate that fear to incite distrust and hostility towards the humans. Valaak nodded, his eyes gleaming with malice. 
We will spread rumors and fabricate evidence of the human's intention to unleash these beasts upon our world, he said. When the time is right, we will strike, and the Haxorian people will demand the expulsion of the humans. As the Zaltor set their plan into motion, they began planting seeds of doubt and fear among the Haxorian populace. Subtle whispers and alarming news reports hinted at the danger posed by Luna and, by extension, the humans. The once-growing curiosity and acceptance started to waver, replaced by a simmering unease. Thalia, who had developed a strong friendship with the humans, sensed the growing tension. She began to suspect that a more sinister force was at play. Determined to uncover the truth, she quietly investigated the source of the rumors, knowing that time was running out to prevent a potential conflict. As the shadow of the Zaltor's plot loomed over Nick's prime, Captain Hale and his crew remained unaware of the impending danger. They continued their efforts to build bridges and foster understanding, not realizing that the very foundation of their work was under threat. Thalia's investigation into the rising tension between humans and Haxorians led her to a startling discovery. The Zaltor, a faction she had always suspected of harboring extremist views, was actively spreading fear and misinformation. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Thalia knew she had to act quickly to prevent a catastrophe. Under the guise of an art exhibition visit, Thalia met with Lieutenant Maria Sanchez in a secluded garden within the Haxorian Art Institute. The garden, filled with bioluminescent flora, provided a serene and private setting for their urgent conversation. Maria, we have a problem, Thalia whispered, her usually calm demeanor now fraught with concern. A faction called the Zaltor is trying to turn our people against you. They're using Luna to incite fear and manipulate public opinion. Maria's eyes widened in alarm. We need to inform Captain Hale immediately. If the Zaltor succeed, it could mean war. Thalia nodded. I'll help you, but we must be cautious. The Zaltor have eyes and ears everywhere. With Thalia's help, Maria relayed the information to Captain Hale. The crew of the Pioneer quickly realized the seriousness of the threat. They devised a plan to expose the Zaltor's treachery to the Haxorian Council and the general public. Thalia, risking her position and safety, agreed to gather concrete evidence against the Zaltor. The Zaltor, determined to proceed with their plan, launched an attack on the human embassy. The attack was swift and brutal, designed to capture Luna and use her as a symbol of human aggression. Alarms blared throughout the embassy as the Zaltor forces breached the perimeter. Captain Hale, his heart pounding with adrenaline, coordinated the defense from the command center. We must protect Luna and prevent the Zaltor from taking her. If they succeed, it will spark a war. Lieutenant Commander Sarah Mitchell led a team of security personnel to secure Luna's location. They fought valiantly, their training and determination shining through as they repelled wave after wave of Zaltor attackers. The embassy grounds became a battlefield, with energy weapons and pulse rifles lighting up the night. Despite their efforts, the Zaltor managed to breach the inner defenses and capture Luna. Captain Hale, seeing the situation grow dire, ordered a strategic retreat to regroup and plan their next move. The Zaltor's forces withdrew, leaving destruction and chaos in their wake. As the dust settled, Thalia, wounded but resolute, approached Captain Hale. We need to act now. The Zaltor will use Luna to incite fear and hatred. We must expose them before it's too late. Luna's capture marked a turning point in the conflict. The Zaltor paraded her through the streets of the Haxorian capital, framing the humans as reckless and dangerous. Fear and panic spread among the populace, with many calling for the immediate expulsion of the human delegation. Captain Hale and his crew found themselves in a precarious position. The embassy was under constant surveillance, and the Haxorian Council, swayed by public opinion, began to question the humans' intentions. Diplomatic channels grew strained, and the threat of war loomed large. Thalia, despite her injuries, continued her investigation. She uncovered crucial evidence linking the Zaltor to the attack on the embassy and their plans to manipulate the public. With this evidence, she approached the pioneer crew, determined to help them turn the tide. Captain Hale, faced with mounting pressure and dwindling options, decided on a daring plan. 
We need to free Luna and present the evidence to the Hexorian Council. It's our only chance to expose the Zaltor and prevent a war. Under the cover of night, a small team led by Lieutenant Commander Mitchell infiltrated the Zaltor's stronghold. The mission was perilous, with traps and patrols at every turn. The team's training and resourcefulness were put to the test as they navigated through the labyrinthine corridors. Meanwhile, Thalia worked to gather support within the Haxorian government. She reached out to allies and sympathetic officials, sharing the evidence and rallying them to the human's cause. The risk was immense, but she knew that failure was not an option. As the rescue team approached Luna's holding cell, they encountered fierce resistance. A pitched battle ensued, with laser fire and explosions echoing through the corridors. Despite the odds, the team pressed on, driven by the urgency of their mission. Finally, they reached Luna, who greeted them with a wagging tail and relieved eyes. The team's joy was short-lived, however, as the Zaltor's forces converged on their position. They fought their way out, Luna in tow, and made a desperate dash for freedom. Back at the embassy, Captain Hale and Thalia prepared to present their case to the Haxorian Council. The evidence was compelling but they knew it would take more than facts to sway the Council. They needed to appeal to the Haxorian sense of justice and desire for peace. As the rescue team returned with Luna, the final phase of their plan was set in motion. The fate of humanity's relationship with the Haxorians and the peace of the Nyx system hung in the balance. With Luna safely rescued, Captain Hale and Thalia quickly assembled the crew and their Haxorian allies to finalize their plan to expose the Zaltor. Time was of the essence. The Zaltor were already stirring public fear and inciting riots, and the Council's patience was running thin. Captain Hale addressed his crew in the briefing room. This mission is about more than just us. It's about preventing a war and securing a future of peace and cooperation. We have to get this evidence to the Haxorian Council and clear our names. Lieutenant Commander Mitchell, still recovering from the fierce battle, stood resolute. We'll need a distraction to divert the Zaltor forces. I'll lead a team to create a diversion, giving you the time to present the evidence. Thalia added, I'll accompany you to the Council Chambers. As a diplomat, my presence will lend credibility to our claims. We must act swiftly and decisively. The plan was set into motion. Under the cover of night, Mitchell's team launched a series of strategic distractions across the city, drawing the Zalter's attention away from the embassy. Explosions and skirmishes erupted, creating chaos and confusion among the Zaltor forces. Meanwhile, Captain Hale, Thalia, and a small group of trusted crew members made their way to the Haxorian Council Chambers. The journey was fraught with danger as Zaltor patrols scoured the city. With Thalia's knowledge of the city and the crew's determination, they managed to evade capture and reach the Council's headquarters. The Council chambers were a grand hall filled with representatives from various Haxorian factions. As Captain Hale and Thalia entered, the room fell silent. The tension was palpable, with the fate of both civilizations hanging in the balance. Thalia stepped forward, addressing the Council with authority. Esteemed members of the Council, we come before you with grave news. The Zaltor faction has been orchestrating a campaign of fear and deception to turn our people against the humans. We have evidence of their treachery and their attack on the human embassy. Captain Hale presented the evidence, including video footage of the Zaltor's assault and documents detailing their plot. The Council members watched in shock as the truth was laid bare. Murmurs of outrage and disbelief spread through the hall. Valak, the leader of the Zaltar, attempted to interject, but Thalia silenced him with a stern gaze. You have manipulated our people and endangered our future. Your actions are a betrayal of our values and our pursuit of knowledge and peace. The council members, swayed by the overwhelming evidence and Thalia's impassioned plea, voted to arrest the Zaltar leaders and disband the faction. Valaak and his conspirators were led away in chains, their plot unraveled. With the threat neutralized, Captain Hale turned to the Council. We seek only peace and cooperation. Let us build a future together based on mutual respect and understanding. With the Zaltor's plot exposed and peace restored, 
The Haxorian Council and the human delegation began to rebuild their relationship. The fear and mistrust that had once threatened to divide them were replaced by a renewed sense of hope and collaboration. Luna, now a beloved figure among the Haxorians, became a symbol of the potential for harmony between their species. Her presence served as a reminder of the importance of understanding and bridging cultural differences. Ambassador Zalath, now more open to human culture, worked closely with Captain Hale and Thalia to draft a formal alliance between the United Earth Federation and the Haxorian Confederation. The alliance aimed to promote scientific collaboration, cultural exchange, and mutual defense. The signing ceremony took place in the Grand Hall of the Haxorian Council Chambers. Representatives from both civilizations gathered to witness the historic moment. Captain Hale, Thalia, and Ambassador Zalath stood together, their hands clasped in unity as they signed the treaty. As the ceremony concluded, Captain Hale addressed the assembled crowd. Today marks the beginning of a new era. Together we will explore the stars, share our knowledge, and face the challenges of the universe as allies and friends. Thalia added, Our journey has shown us that through understanding and cooperation, we can overcome any obstacle. Let this alliance be a beacon of hope for all who seek peace. With the alliance solidified, the crew of the Pioneer prepared to continue their mission of exploration. Captain Hale stood on the bridge of the Pioneer, gazing out at the stars. Set course for the next uncharted system. Our journey has only just begun. As the Pioneer left Nick's Prime, the crew felt a renewed sense of purpose. They had forged an alliance that would shape the future of both civilizations. United by their shared experiences and the bonds they had formed, humanity and the Haxorians looked to the stars with hope and determination, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As the UEF pioneer departed from Nick's Prime, Captain Hale and his crew felt a sense of accomplishment, mixed with anticipation for the future. The ship hummed with activity as preparations were made for their next journey. The bridge was a hive of organized chaos, with officers coordinating the next steps, engineers fine-tuning systems, and scientists analyzing data from their recent diplomatic success. Captain Hale stood at the helm, looking out at the vast expanse of space. Beside him, Thalia, now an honorary member of the Pioneer crew, reflected on the incredible events that had unfolded. It's remarkable how far we've come, she said, her voice filled with awe. From mistrust and fear to an alliance that could reshape the galaxy. Hale nodded. It shows what can be achieved when we set aside our differences and work together. This alliance is just the beginning. There are countless other civilizations out there, each with their own stories, challenges, and potential. Luna, now a symbol of peace and unity, wandered the bridge, greeting crew members with her usual enthusiasm. Her presence was a constant reminder of the importance of empathy and understanding, no matter how different one might seem. Captain, we have a course plotted for the Andromeda Sector, announced Lieutenant Commander Mitchell, who had fully recovered from the injuries sustained during the rescue mission. Preliminary scans indicate potential signs of intelligent life. Hale turned to face his crew, a smile spreading across his face. Excellent. Let's see what new friends we can make. Engage. The stars outside the ship's windows began to blur as the Pioneer jumped to faster than light speed, the hum of the engines resonating through the ship. The crew settled into their routines, each member dedicated to the mission of exploration and discovery. In the ship's lounge, Maria and Thalia discussed the potential for cultural exchanges with other civilizations. Imagine the art, the music, the stories we could share, Maria said her eyes sparkling with excitement. Every encounter is a chance to learn something new, Thalia agreed, and to teach as well. Our cultures have much to offer each other. It's through these exchanges that we truly grow. Meanwhile, in the engineering bay, Chief Engineer Patel oversaw the final adjustments to the ship's systems. We need to ensure the Pioneer is ready for anything, she instructed her team. The unknown is unpredictable, and we must be prepared. As days turned into weeks, the Pioneer ventured deeper into uncharted space. Each new star system they entered brought new challenges and discoveries. 
they encountered strange celestial phenomena, ancient ruins of long-lost civilizations, and signs of life that hinted at the vast diversity of the galaxy. During one such expedition, the pioneer stumbled upon a derelict spacecraft, drifting silently through the void. The crew conducted a thorough investigation, uncovering clues about a once thriving civilization that had faced its own trials and triumphs. These discoveries added to the growing tapestry of knowledge that the pioneer collected, each piece a testament to the resilience and creativity of intelligent life. Back on Earth and Nick's Prime, news of the Alliance spread, inspiring hope and curiosity among both humans and Haxorians. The collaboration between the two species sparked advancements in science, technology, and culture, paving the way for a brighter future. In one of the many briefings held aboard the Pioneer, Thalia shared a sentiment that resonated deeply with everyone present. Our journey is more than just exploring the stars. It's about understanding what it means to be part of a greater whole, to see beyond our own horizons and recognize the interconnectedness of all life. Captain Hale couldn't agree more. As long as we remember that, we'll be able to face any challenge the universe throws at us. The UEF pioneer continued its voyage, a symbol of hope, unity, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. With each new discovery, the bond between humanity and the Haxorians grew stronger. Their shared journey a beacon of what could be achieved when different worlds come together in peace. And so, under the vast canopy of stars, the pioneer sailed on, driven by the spirit of exploration and the promise of a brighter tomorrow, forever venturing beyond the known into the infinite possibilities of the cosmos.